Hey guys, Scott Riekers here with Eastman's Hunting Journal from wonderful wet Wyoming this spring of 2019. We have the opportunity today to take a look at the Vortex Razor HD 4000 rangefinder, and we're going to go through its specifications, take a look at what it does, and then I want to take some time and really camp out on how you can practically use these features in the field and what it means for you as a hunter. Down to just about freezing. First feature that I want to talk about is when you press the measure button, you have something called the normal mode on this rangefinder. In normal mode, you can get up to 1,600 yards. They have it labeled on the chart that that is where you can pick up to a deer, out to 1,600 yards. Practical world, deer hide is reflective. The hair is going to be pretty reflective, but they can also blend in. So if they're not standing out in the sun, 1,600 yards is a lot of distance to be able to pick up the range of a deer standing in the high country, hanging out in the shadows. A more standard piece of what you are oftentimes when you're clicking through, sitting, sitting from your glassing point and looking, huh, I wonder how far that is, is you're glassing up trees. You're picking specific trees in the middle of that basin. Well, in this particular setting, you can get out to 1,800 yards in normal mode with this rangefinder. I've done a little further than that with this. It's a clear day, so there's nothing interfering with that going back and forth, but it's very possible to get out to 1,800 yards, no problem. The next piece inside the normal mode is 2,400 yards on reflective targets. Now, reflective targets are going to be like some of these big rocks you see in the very, very far distance that are way out there, but you can reach out and touch with the Razer HD 4000. 2200. Vortex has been very honest in normal mode about what you can get. Now let's move into scan mode. You are an archery hunter and you're watching as a group of elk is moving somewhere between 50 and 75 yards away from you and they're working across, you've got the wind right and you're just waiting there. The beauty of scan mode is that you can hold the button down, work your way across, and the Razer HD 4000 will continue to pick up targets at different distances. Now, does this work for the rifle hunter who is taking ethical shots and uh, quite a bit further than an archery shot past, you know, that 50, 60, 70 yards that a lot of archers take? Absolutely. I've scanned with this here and I've had no problem picking up different targets, 500, 600, 700, 800 different distances as it goes out and away. And I've intentionally done far distances to see how quickly it picks it up. Did very well in doing that. How did I verify that? Well, I've also got Vortex's Fury, which they made a big splash with, and you can read about in the last issue of Eastman's Hunting Journal. I looked out and I verified the distance with this binocular, range finding binocular, so that I could make sure that we were picking up the same things in scan mode. Because I was curious, does scan mode actually work? When Was it like really picking up stuff as you're moving from point to point? Absolutely it does. Now here is where the 4000 comes into place on the Razer HD 4000 title. The extended laser range function allows you to get out to 4000 yards. To get into extended laser range mode, you hold the menu button for four seconds and make your selection. This is when you really want to reach out and touch something. When you really have something very, very far that you want to know just how far away you are from that. Practical world, what does that mean? I'm sitting at the top of a high country basin and I'm glassing. And I can see that there is a game trail down at the bottom. And I know on the other side of the basin there's a group of elk that is working their way down that basin towards me. This will give me an accurate distance on just how far that is. A lot of times, there's a lot of conjecture that goes back and forth between hunting buddies. How far do you think that is? How far of a hike do you think that is? This will tell you in yards exactly how far that is based on line of sight. And you can appropriately figure out, huh, that's how far I'm going to have to hike to get that. Let's be honest, you're not going to take a 4,000 yard shot but it is useful for knowing exactly how far that distance is. And when your game is coming down that trail, it puts you in a position where you can get close enough to intercept and help you understand just how much time it'll take you to get there. Vortex recommends that to get out to that 4,000 yards, you hook this up to a tripod. You can see that it comes with an adapter that hooks right onto your tripod. 
This adapter also works on the Fury binoculars. So you, it's, it's one fits all if you choose to go that route. You have two buttons, one for measuring and one for your menu that allows you to change your mode. It allows you to do line of sight, which line of sight is exactly how far it is. How far is it from your line of sight? There is no angle compensation for bullet drop, anything like that in line of sight. But if you want the bullet drop, the Vortex has it. The HCD, horizontal component distance. That actually means your actual distance that you would be shooting. So for instance, if you're shooting at an animal that's uphill, that's actually closer to you than what line of sight is because of how much gravity affects your projectile. And so the Razer HD 4000 will give you that HCD, which tells you how to actually aim rather than aiming a lot farther based on the angle of shot. Vortex really, 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 really wanted to make sure that this was a rangefinder that the masses would be able to take, use, and be able to effectively kill animals with. I've literally gone through all the features in the menu, easily navigated it, and it's not confusing at all. Like some menus that, that with different electronics that you work with, and especially like in our smartphone world, you feel like you get confused by the time you even like enter it and start getting into your settings. Well, that's not the case with this Vortex Razor. Um, it's, it does everything that it says it will do with ease and practically and very quick. So I'm pretty impressed with how all the features work together and how the range finding menu works. There's one battery compartment here, very easy to replace and take out. You will get approximately 4,000 ranges out of that. Your finger is going to get pretty tired before your battery goes out. I would venture a guess that most of us would get a full season of use out of this. The range finders of old were bulky and they were not fun to deal with. The button was always in an awkward spot and you're, you're reaching goofy. Not the Vortex Razor HD 4000. This is a very comfortable range finder in your hand, very easy to use. It also has a coating on the outside that so let's be honest, we're hunters, we hunt in wet, so it's going to get wet, it's gonna be sticky on your fingers even when there's wet weather outside and you have to pull it out when it gets a little bit damp. Any range finder that doesn't make it easier for you to take the shot or make it more efficient is not going to work. And that's what Vortex pursued with the Razer HD 4000. They wanted us as hunters to have a range finder that allowed us to quickly, number one, get on target, number two, stay on target, that would be the scan mode, and then number three, take a clean ethical shot and understand the distance that we're taking. Thanks again for joining us here at Eastman's Hunting Journal's YouTube channel, as well as our blog and the e-news. All those links are down below in the description if you are not subscribed to any of those. Take the time to do that because we will have more gear reviews that will help you figure out which products you want to take to the field with you, like this Vortex Razor HD 4000. And we'll see you next time on the Eastman's Gear Lab.